guys, this is Tracy Chen and today we're going to talk about the eligibility requirements for the two-year 408 COVID extension. lawyer at Mason Chen Law Group. If you want to get in contact with myself or one of our fantastic lawyers or agents, our contact details are below. You can drop us an email or contact us on our contact link. Now, over the last couple of weeks, there have been some big changes. And one of the biggest changes is the two-year 408 COVID extension. Now, we were all speculating that maybe they're going to remove the COVID visa soon. It's not going to be a thing. We've got to rush to lodge these because we don't know what's happening. Now, based on this, I feel like it's going to be around for a little bit longer which is good news. And generally speaking, most people, if they apply, they will get a one year 408 visa, which is great because a lot of people are on their 485 or maybe on a student visa and they just need one year to do what they need to do to apply and wait for PR essentially. So the 408 is fantastic. And I'm so glad to see these changes because it kind of indicates that they're not removing it anytime soon. Now, they have just released eligibility requirements for a two year COVID visa. So in today's video, we are going to clarify exactly what these requirements are. Once you are granted this visa, you're allowed to live and work in Australia for the next two years. And there really isn't much restrictions at all. So let's start talking about it in detail. First of all, to be eligible for this two year 408 visa, you must be currently a holder of a 485 visa. Now you can hold any type of 485 visa. So there's generally speaking two types. There are the applicants who study a diploma or certificate and they apply for a graduate work 485 visa. Then there's a cohort of applicants who studied a bachelor degree or higher and they applied under the post-study work stream. So two streams, but it doesn't matter which type of 485 visa you hold. Second of all, you must have been in Australia during the pandemic period. So the pandemic period should be the 1st of February 2020 till the 14th of December 2021. If you're in Australia during that time, you probably were in Australia for that entire period. Because if you were in Australia during that time, if you leave you couldn't come back and if you were outside of Australia during that time there's no way you could have come back in anyway so it's definitely for people who are here during that time there's no minimum amount of time though so it's not like you had to be here from the 1st of February 2020 until the 14th of December 2021 you don't have to be here for the whole period so if you got back to Australia just before the borders closed then you should qualify anyway then you must have held a 485 visa during that period as well and you must be a 485 visa holder that does not qualify for the two-year extension which I talked about in my other video. So it gets a little bit confusing but anyway. Your 485 visa must be expiring before the 1st of July 2023. Perhaps your 485 visa expires next month and you're looking to apply for a 408 visa now. You can apply now and you should get granted two years if you meet the criteria before. Next, at the time of applying, you must have held a 485 visa. That 485 visa must be expiring from now until the next 90 days. So for example, today is the 9th of March 2023 your 45 visa must be expiring within the next 90 days so 10th of June 2023 something like that or your 485 visa expired in the last 28 days so say for example your 485 visa expired 10 days ago well that's within the last 28 days so you still qualify so it's only for people who last held a 485 visa at this point what we've seen over the last couple of weeks since the announcements is that people who do meet that criteria and they have applied recently they're getting two-year grants now like people who studied cookery in Australia people who study engineering in Australia they're just getting a two-year grant which is great then people who are applying now, it is assumed that they'll also get a two-year 408 visa, which is excellent. Now, there's been other questions for people who said, what if I already hold a 408 visa now? Am I eligible for the extension? It's a little bit different. So it's not like you're going to get automatically extended, but say, for example, you hold a 408 visa now and it expires in November 2023. So that's in like six months time. I almost said six months. Yeah. Anyway, so say, for example, then, then you're not able to apply for the next 408 until within 90 days of your current visa expiring. But yeah, there's nothing that stops you from applying for another 408. But I don't think you'll get two years. You'll probably just get one year, which works out the same anyway as these cohort of people because then you already had the 408 for one year, then you're going to apply for it again and then you'll get another one year. So, you know, there's not much difference. You still get the two years. Obviously, when you apply, you need to be working in Australia and you need to have a job offer. That job offer can be in any sector. It doesn't need to be health or anything or hospitality. Any sector is fine. It can be a 
casual job, anything. You just provide those details. Anyway, so I hope that clarified your queries. Now, I just want to mention that I have released my courses, courses.tracymigration.com.au. Super exciting. So you can jump on there and learn more about migration. As you guys may already know, I'm also on TikTok and Instagram and Facebook. So you can check out my videos there. I post daily with small migration updates that happen on a daily basis. Thank you so much for watching, guys, and I'll see you guys in the next video.